Hello everyone, this is Ankur Shivaji Gorude. Today we are starting our new topic semiconductor devices. We all know that our daily life is heavily dependent on various electronic gadgets. We use many electronic gadgets in our day to day life such as mobile phones, televisions, smart watches, LED lamps and computers etc etc. But the common factor in all these electronic gadgets is they all are made by or built by using semiconductor devices. Various semiconductor devices are used to build a electronic gadget. From this, we can simply say that semiconductor devices or semiconductors made our life comfortable and easy. Okay, before starting our topic, let's just revise what we have learned from 11th standard. We have, we have studied a semiconductor topic in 11th standard also. <clears throat> we know that materials are classified in three groups. Conductors, insulators and semiconductors on the basis of electrical properties of material. Conductor is a material through which electric current easily passes. Insulator is a bad conductor of electricity. Means through a material which is insulator, current does not passes. Then what is semiconductor? Semiconductor is a material whose electrical conductivity lies between conductivity of conductor and that of insulator. Also, we have studied types of semiconductors which are intrinsic semiconductor and extrinsic semiconductor. Intrinsic semiconductor is a pure semiconductor and extrinsic semiconductor is impure semiconductor. Means to improve or to increase a conductivity, some other elements are added to a pure form of semiconductor, which is called extrinsic semiconductor. Now, Extrinsic semiconductors are further classified into two types which are P-type semiconductor and N-type semiconductor. Okay. Then we have also studied a P-N junction diode and its characteristics. We know that a diode, when a diode is in a forward bias mode, when a diode is in a forward bias mode, it acts as a closed switch. It acts as a closed switch. Means what? When a diode is in forward bias mode, it allows to pass a current through a diode circuit. And when a diode is in reverse bias mode, it acts as open switch. Means what? Current does not pass through a diode circuit. Now, we have revised some points from a topic semiconductor which we have studied in our earlier standard. Now, let's move forward and see what is in introductory part of our new topic semiconductor 
devices the generation of ac power at power stations is more cost efficient than generation of dc power also transmission of ac power is more economic than transmitting dc power ac voltage varies sinusoidally in india it is 230 volt and has a frequency of 50 hertz now what is ac voltage and what is dc voltage let's see i have drawn two figures or two graphs which will clarify our idea of ac voltage and dc voltage here this graph shows voltage axis and time axis so from graph we can say that as time varies or time goes on increasing voltage also varies okay time change will the sir voltage should the change will. okay so we can say that voltage is not constant with time time change will the sir voltage change will. therefore we can say that the voltage which varies with time is called ac voltage by graph we can see that here at time t is equal to 0 voltage is also 0 but as time changes here voltage also changes again when time changes voltage also changes therefore in ac voltage voltage keeps varying now what is dc voltage this is voltage axis and this is time axis the graph is straight line the graph is straight line this straight line is parallel to time axis means we can say that when time changes voltage does not change means the voltage is constant in constant at every time the voltage remains constant whenever time changes sari time change ha tari voltage constant does happen kya voltage la dc voltage manta hai okay so why we are going why we are studying this because many electronic gadgets require dc supply such as television sets mobile chargers etc right so the conversion of ac supply into dc supply is necessary there in this chapter we are going to study some devices which help to convert the ac supply into dc supply or we are we going to study the devices which are able to convert a dc a ac supply into dc supply <clears throat> okay so first we are going to study some diode rectifiers types of rectifier circuits filter circuits 
voltage regular capacitors. These devices are used to convert AC supply into DC supply. Okay. So first we'll see a simple block diagram of rectifier circuit which converts AC supply into DC supply. Okay. So first the AC mains supply is connected to the primary of transformer and secondary of transformer is connected to the diode rectifier. Secondary of transformer is connected to diode rectifier. Now the waveform or the voltage shown with sine wave and secondary of transformer is converted into DC voltage at the output of rectifier. Okay. But at output of rectifier we can see there are some AC components in available in DC. So these AC components in DC are called ripples or is called ripple. So filter circuit reduces these ripples and gives us output waveform which is shown here, which is shown here. Output of filter circuit is connected to the voltage regulator circuit. Now what voltage regulator circuit does? Voltage regulator restricts the voltage which is output of filter at desired value and at output of voltage regulator will get pure DC voltage means at this stage we will get pure DC. This is a simple block diagram showing how the AC voltage is converted into DC voltage. That's it. So in next lecture we will study uh, briefly about rectifier types of rectifiers okay let's stop here thank you